Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Hi, how are you? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I apply my Shein press on nails. That that was my neighbor. Apparently, he is moving chairs, or that's how it sounds to me. Today, I'm going to show you guys how I apply his root at this point. As I was saying, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I apply my press on nails without damaging my own nails uh, I do use the kiss nail glue but I do a little 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 step in there I am uh, editing this video right now and uh, clearly my brain wasn't functioning all I wanted to say is that I'm doing this extra step just to keep my nails pretty much damage free yeah also i'm going to show you how i remove them if you are thinking to reuse the nails my technique is not the best because it will literally dissolve the nails so you cannot reuse them but you can probably just try to lift them and slowly unstick them if you guys want to reuse them but they provide you with two sets obviously they are not the same size like now i'm left with this set and i don't know what to do with it because it doesn't fit my nails i have smaller kind of nails and this set doesn't fit me but you can file them down you can you know you will figure out if you still want to use this set before we jump into the video please subscribe if you haven't already and if this is your first time here on my channel hi my name is vera and i post a lot of videos about beauty cosmetic hair nails fashion you know a little bit of everything i share here on my channel so if you guys like what you see hit the red button ring the bell activate all the notifications so you can get notified every single time i'm posting a new video and this hair is getting in my eye as i said this is a wig from shein okay so yeah without any further ado let's jump into the video by the way the angle might not be the best but i'm trying my best to show you you know what i'm doing so to remove the nails i'm going to use some cotton rounds and i'm going to cut them in half uh pure acetone and aluminum aluminum anyway cooking foil as you can see i already have five of them because i did remove the nails on this hand and i wanted to show you guys how easy it is to remove them with just pure acetone I know this kind of burns a little bit, but it's not that intense. So you just put acetone on the cotton round, you wrap it around the nail, and then you put the aluminum foil. This is exactly what I have in there. I'm going to probably pour a little bit more of the um, acetone in there. But yeah, I'm going to reuse them. So you just leave them on for like 10 to 15 minutes. You'll basically see how soft the nail it gets because this is like pure plastic and then with a little spatula like this you just push it down and it removes so easy these are my natural nails and no uh damage whatsoever i did file them down just a little bit because i had some gel polish um left over but just a little bit you know you just buff them a little bit so obviously i need to cut them because this is not the hot girl summer look we are looking for my intention was to grow my nails but just adding some press on nails is way much easier than doing my own nails with gel polish so Okay, so it's been like, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. You guys see that? <laughs> Look at that. It basically melts. So next I'm going to take this little spatula, 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 and try to push it out. You see the dirt in there? Ah, oh, that's not cute. So if there's still stuff on my nail, I'm going to put that back in for like five more minutes. As you can see, it's so easy to remove. And yeah, I still have some stuff in there. I'm going to put that back in for a few more minutes. 
Let's see another one. Oh my goodness. You guys see that? That's amazing. Oh, look at that. That was extremely easy. No damage to the nail. As you can see, I still need to buff this because there's like, I don't know, stuff on my nail. But basically, this is how it works. Okay? Pure acetone is the sh I'm telling you guys, let's try another one. Oh, you guys see that? Oh, is that queso? Is that like melted cheese? <laughs> oh my goodness, that was so easy. So yeah, just apply the cotton rounds with acetone and this foil wrap and i don't know go watch some youtube videos and i do recommend you guys to cut off the cuticles and also the nails okay so if you don't like to cut your cuticles at least push them in because i will show you why i recommend this so i have my nails ready i cut my nails also i cut the cuticles i also buffed a little not yes with this side because it's a little bit more soft i also buffed like gently the nail so for this technique i discovered that is the best to apply some gel base so you don't uh damage your natural nail so this is exactly what i'm going to do because you guys i've been using the kiss um nail glue and this is so strong oh my goodness when it comes <coughs> when it comes to remove the nail is like a struggle because i feel like it's ripping off my natural nail and that's no no this is way too strong my nails last up to three weeks four weeks depending on how much i want to have them on so i'm going to apply one coat of base and two or three coats of uh, this builder base i recommend you to apply thin layers because it's pretty thick and slippery so apply up to three coats and cure them in the lamp this is exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to fast forward this process as you can see my nails are super short i cannot cut them shorter than this because that skin under there and it hurts they look crazy i don't think i've had my nails this short since i was in kindergarten because my mom used to cut my nails from the skin or with the skin and uh, emotional damage <laughs> so let's do this if it burns in the curing lamp it means that you did something wrong it means that you probably filed down a little bit too much your nail so that's that's why it burns now as i said make sure you remove the sticky layer because after you cure this it has a sticky layer otherwise the kiss glue won't stick on top of this sticky layer and i know it's kind of crazy because it should work but it doesn't trust me as i said been there did that <laughs> next you want to uh, pick your size and make sure it fits well on both sides of the nail and one thing that i don't like about the press on nails is that it came with two sets of nails and obviously they are different sizes so like it fits everyone but now i'm left with this set and i don't know what to do with it because if i'm going to file them down like it will look weird you know what i mean yeah that's the only thing that i don't like this set came with the sticky how is this called i don't know how this is called but this is that sticky layer that it sticks on both sides also it came with a mini nail file and this is so cute i mean if you are on vacation and this is the only option you have 
this will do i don't like this so that's why i'm using uh nail glue all right you guys so i did prep my nails also i did buffed a little bit inside of the press on nails and on my natural nail as well just a little bit so the nail glue has a better grip and i'm going to start applying uh these nails then i'm going to move on my other hand and at the end i'm going to finish with these two fingers because it's easier for me to do it that way i don't know why but it's easier for me okay so you don't need to apply a lot of nail glue because it will spill it will get everywhere so make sure you use a little bit so i'm going to apply just a little bit on my nail and a little bit on the press on as well you have to make sure you move quick because this dries fast okay make sure it is also straight you see like it gets everywhere so make sure you use a small amount of nail glue all right that looks beautiful okay so my tip is to insert the press on nail like under your cuticle so it looks natural all right so that's my tip on how to make them look as natural as possible Oh my goodness, this is not really, really straight. Like, it's a little bit on that side. But I'm okay with that. I mean, it doesn't look bad. Right? okay you guys so um, this is the result honestly i don't think i did a good job on this hand because this one looks that way and also the design on this nail is not like centered probably this is not the best set i applied but from far i do like it okay this is how it looks on the inside i do have a little bit of glue but that will go away wait you know water when i'm washing my hands uh clearly these nails are a little bit too wide for me but the other set is way bigger than this one all right you guys so that was it for today please let me know if you guys tried shein nails or any press on nails i did try it amazon press on nails but i wasn't really a fan i did like them but i i wouldn't repurchase again you know what i mean so i'm excited to use all of these i only bought five sets because i said you know what let me first try them to see how they fit if i like them all that stuff and then i will go and buy some more i also bought some short ones and um i don't know i think they're cute i think they're cute these are cow print and i think they're pretty fire i love them from far they look beautiful anyway so that was it for this nail tutorial let me know down below what you guys think if you guys are going to give this technique a go let me know down below and um, yeah i hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe if you haven't already take care and i will see you in my next one